Hello everybody and welcome to another updated bookshelf tour. I know, when is the last time that I did a bookshelf tour? It was not that long ago. Something about me is that I will find something that I like, I will hyper fixate on it until I either buy it or do that thing. So these new bookshelves that you are seeing a little bit of are one of those things. I used to have the, I'm pretty sure it was the LAC or it was just like this big cube organizer that a lot of people use for like clothes and stuff and I used it for a bookshelf. I loved it but I always kind of looked at it like it didn't look like actual bookshelves to me. But then I just kind of came up with this idea of how I wanted my bookshelves to look. I went to Ikea, did it. If you guys want that whole entire experience, I literally have a building my bookshelves and like kind of organizing them. If you watched that video exactly like a week or two after that, I was so tired of looking at that. I color coordinated all of my shelves. These two shelves are color coordinated. Not everything is color coordinated though, so I'll take you guys through like all of the organization. Before we get all into the bookshelf organization, I do want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Flip. Let me tell you guys about Flip. Flip is the best new beauty app. It's like an exclusive club for people that want to shop for beauty and offering a premium experience. I'm talking free same day shipping, easy returns, white glove customer service, and an elite rewards program that saves you up to 30% off on every order. It's like having Sephora's products, TikTok's reviews, Amazon's fast shipping, and YouTube supporter community all in one place. So it's kind of like your ultimate one-stop beauty shop. The app is very much like TikTok where you just scroll and you see a lot of reviews from people who have bought the products themselves. You can literally discover so many new Holy Girl products. There's over 500 brands on the app. One of the best parts is that you can shop directly from the review. So when you're scrolling through, it'll show the product that the person is reviewing in a very TikTok review style way. And you can literally just add it to cart straight from that review. And the best part about it is that all of the flip reviews are verified and authentic. These are actual people that have bought these products. So it's not like when you're on a website and you're like seeing a random review and you don't know for sure if they bought the product or not. You are literally seeing somebody holding the product, using the product, reviewing the product. Flip also has an unrivaled beauty rewards program. It rewards you even when you aren't buying anything. You literally can make money just by scrolling through the app. Shopping, even posting your own reviews helps you earn rewards that can earn you up to 30% off on every order. Now, I'll tell you that's something that you aren't going to see at Sephora or Ulta. I'm gonna be Honest, when shopping for like beauty stuff, it's always hard, especially when you're on other apps because somebody can be talking about a product and it's like, okay, where's the link? Or okay, where do I find this app? What I love about Flip is it's literally all just right there. Anything that they're reviewing, you literally just one click of a button, you can see the product, add the product to cart. And just, I like that you can genuinely see authentic reviews from different people and their products, what they like. It just feels all very genuine, authentic, and it feels very safe shopping. So I'm gonna show you guys some products that I got off of Flip. First of all, I have been dying to try Necessaire. I've been seeing just so many of their products reviewed everywhere, especially on Flip as I was going through. I am somebody who likes to smell good. One of the best compliments I think that anyone can get is how you smell. So I've heard so many good things about the Necessaire the body wash. I specifically got this in the scent Sandalwood because this is the one that I heard the best reviews on on Flip. It smells very clean girl aesthetic expensive. The next thing I got is the Skinny Confidential Hot Mess Eye Roller. I have been using this in the morning and I swear it has been a very life-changing part of my morning routine. I literally just go underneath my eyes like this, roll upwards on the face, roll my neck. I feel like it helps with lymphatic drainage. I hope it, I feel like it helps with my under eyes. Next product that I got was the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I got this in, I think this is a new flavor, I want to call it, in Gummy Bear. This literally smells like opening up a package of gummy worms. It smells so, so good. And with the winter months coming in, something that I feel like is very, very important is to keep your skin, your lips, everything hydrated. The last few products that I got are also from Necessaire. First, I got the body serum. I saw so many reviews on these products in particular from Necessaire that I have been hearing so much about and I really wanted to try them. But first of all, we have the body serum. This one is really good. You can use it on its own or you can mix it with the body lotion. I like to use it before the body lotion. It's literally just a little bit goes such a long way. Just have a little pump of that. Mix that in. I swear I have been getting compliments on how soft specifically my hands have felt since I started using this and it's literally a lifesaver. I'm telling you guys with winter months coming in, it's so good to invest in body care. I also got two of the body lotions from Necessaire. I again pair this with the body serum. I really, really like it. Again, what I like about products is that a little bit can go such a long way. Plus these are fragrance free so it's really good if you have like eczema or any type of thing like that. I've seen very good reviews for that for those type of skin types and I have just been loving these products recently. Thanks to Flip I don't think I would have 
even known that these existed without Flip. You guys can up your beauty shopping game with Flip. You guys can download the app for free or you guys can go to flip.shop slash Destiny Sidwell and you guys can save 30% on your first order with the code Destiny Sidwell. Thank you guys again so much to Flip for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into the bookshelf tour. Okay guys, I'm going to give you guys a quick overview. We'll talk about the books. Let's get into it. First off, I'm going to start with this shelf. This shelf is kind of like the darker color. I have color coordinated my shelves into like a rainbow going on with these two shelves. So we start with black, go into blue, which then goes into purple, which then goes into green, and then we go over here. Thinking of it, I probably should have just went blue to green to purple to pink. So that may change, it may not, who knows. I also wanted to kind of make it in a pleasing way. The bookshelves looked a little bit different, so I put some horizontal, some vertical, and I really like the way that looks because I also feel like you can put a lot more books in that way. As you can see, this is what that bookshelf looks like at the top. All of these are my my hardcover books, they're just random. So if you guys don't know, we have A River Enchanted, Darling Girl, Like a Sister, The Paris Apartment, I'll Be There For You, The Maidens, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, These Violent Delights, Blackout, and then we have The House Across the Lake, As Good As Dead, If We Were Villains, In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, The Final Girl Support Group, The Passengers, Sharp Objects, American Psycho, Gone Girl, No Exit, and The Midnight Club. And then over here we have I Fell In Love With Hope, Punk 57, Riot House, My Best Friend's Exorcism, Bound by Honor, Still Beating, and Lotus. These three are like more dark romances. That is that top shelf. That was actually very hard to do for some reason to hold that and talk. Okay, right here we kind of have the same thing going on, so I just kind of continued on with this. If you guys watched my other bookshelf tour, it was very hard for me to color coordinate my shelves because I like to put series together, I like to put authors together, I like to do all that so I know exactly if there's one author, all of the books are together, things like that. I had it organized like that. It being color coded very much is hard for me because you have them color coordinated and then it's hard to kind of organize them in a way like that for me. I try to do the best that I can to make sense to my brain. You're kind of looking at my brain and my thinking. So again, we just have all of the black covers that I have. So we have the Kiss Curse, A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime, The Atlas Six. I have the original self-published cover. The Atlas Paradox just came out last month and I looked at it and one, it's a hard cover. Two, it just doesn't look anything like this cover. And I know it's because it's a self-published version, but just something in my brain doesn't correlate with that. Then we have Haunting and Hunting Adeline. And then and right here, this is where I try to kind of put authors together and series together. I try to do that if I can. So right here, I'm pretty sure this is the Brutal Birthright series. So we have Savage Lover, Bloody Heart, Broken Vow, Heavy Crown. This is a part of the Kingmaker series. This is the one cover that didn't come in the new discrete covers. I don't know why they literally just sent me the bully in the old cover instead of the new cover. And every other one in the series is the new cover. <laughs> It's okay. And then I have the Sinners of Saint series by LJ Shin, Vicious, Ruckus, Scandalous, and Bane. And then over here, this actually really, really irritates me that it is over here instead of on the Addicted shelf, but it couldn't fit on the Addicted shelf. So I put it over here, the Bad Reputation duet. If you guys didn't know, this goes with the Addicted Calories Sister series. It's about some other characters in there. So this is another case where I try to put authors together if I can. So these are all of the black covers I have for Colleen Hoover, so I put all of them together, which is Verity, Slammed, Point of Retreat, and This Girl. This is the slammed series I'm pretty sure it's called. Right here I just kind of tried to put romances so we have Bittersweet Memories which I actually read a few months ago and I liked. I feel like I don't talk about this enough but I just bought the physical copy of it because I really liked it. Dirty Wicked Prince, The X Hex, Until Friday Night, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, Before Your Strangers, and If He Had Been With Me. Now we're here we're on to our first blue shelf. I will tell you guys after organizing all of these shelves I realized just how many blue books that I own. The way that I organized these is I always try to kind of put the hardbacks with each other just to separate them from the paperbacks. I don't know why I'm very weird about that. I have some thrillers, Breathless, The Lies of Tell, Things We Do in the Dark, and then I have some regular books, The Lifestyle, The Good Left Undone, Woman of Light, Bittersweet, Such of an Age, Again But Better, and Seven Days in June, and then I have In a New York Minute, Oh my gosh, this is me realizing that I read this book in October, didn't even put it in my wrap up, didn't even remember that I read it. If you guys are wondering and watching this video, didn't put this book in my wrap up, but I very much read that in October. What is going on? And we have Trubis, and then we get to our paperback, and then I have The Chase and The Risk. This is the first two books in the Briar U series. Indigo Ridge, The Fine Print, Truly Devious, Collided, and let me just tell you how much that it really annoys me to have like series that aren't together. Ugh, I try, but it's for the 
aesthetics. It's for the aesthetics. And then we have the Hawthorne Legacy, The Long Way Home, which is in the Magnolia Park series, Dead Flip, They Both Die at the End, It Happened One Summer, and then all of my Colleen Hoover books that are blue, Hopeless Losing Hope, Finding Cinderella, it starts with us. Also, Ugly Love is supposed to be there, but I lent that out to Lexi. And then we have Consider Me, 56 Days, and Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. This is yet again another blue shelf. I also tried to organize them in shades of blue. So we have Malibu Rising, Beautiful World, Where Are You, None Shall Sleep, Things We Never Got Over, 28 Summer, Riley Thorne and the Blast from the Past, Every Summer After, Reminders of Him, The Selection, Archer's Voice, The Legacy, The Mistake, The Love Hypothesis, Beach Read, The American Roommate Experiment, and Twisted Love, and then we have The Masterpiece, Hello Summer, and then we have The Winter in Paradise Trilogy, The Song of Achilles, All the Right Places, The Roughest Draft, The Layover, Ship, The Honeymooners, Kiss Now, Lie Later, Getting His Game Back, and The Little Christmas and Quincy novella. Continuing on down here, we have some more like bluish kind of greenish books. So we have Redeeming Love, Rules of Summer, A Man Called Ove, Everything I Know About Love, The Gold, The Firefly Lane, Better Than the Movies, Dear Ava, Ten Rules for Faking It, It's Not Summer Without You, Pack Up the Moon, The Hating Game, The Worst Best Man, 2204 Hunter Lane, Always Only You, The Resurrection of Wildflowers, My Killer Vacation, Hook, Line, and Sinker, and The Temporary Roomie. Then we have The Hunting Wives, Something Wilder, and then here is where we start with the purple books. The Family Game, Accidentally Amy, Radio Silence, Lila, Fix Her Up, A Hundred Other Girls, The Confidence of Wildflowers, Made Me Halfway, and Ghosted. Then we have the last bookshelf down here. So this is the last of my purple books. We have Pretty Reckless, Redeemed, We'll Always Have Summer, You Deserve Each Other, All Your Perfects, One Last Stop, Marriage for One, The Off Limits Rule, Dream On, and To Hate, Adam Connor. And then this is where the green book starts. Simple Wild, Codename Verity, Nine Perfect Strangers, Twisted Lies, Your Babuena, Vladimir, Tell Me Everything, the Book of Cold Cases, Don't Cry For Me and Take My Hand. Kind of try to put all of my green hardcovers down here and then build them up. And then we have Juniper Hill, Terms and Conditions, Wrecked, Much Ado About You, Wilder Girls, Inheritance Games, Four Aunties and a Wedding, The Cheat Sheet, People We Meet on Vacation, and then The Deal. It goes up to pink, but we're going to keep down with the lower angle. White slash cream gray books that are down here. So again, put all of my Colleen Hoovers right next to each other. We have Heart Bones Without Merit, Maybe Someday. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Um, Heart Bones Without Merit, Maybe Someday, Confess, November 9th, Love in Other Words, Most of All You, Love and Gelato, Tell Me Three Things, Every Last Word, The Newcomer in 27 Days, A Love Letter to Whiskey, Alone with You in the Ether, Nine Days, and A Little Life. And then over here, I put like all of my thrillers together. We have How to Survive Your Murder, Good Girl's Guide to Murder, The Silent Patient, The Whisper Man, The Hunting Party, The Ton of the Key. We're kind of going to work backwards. <laughs> over here, we have The Hoop Series by Kennedy Ryan, Long Shot, Block Shot, Hook Shot. Then these are the first two books in the Brutal Birthright series. They're not with their other ones because these are in the discrete cover. So we have Brutal Prince and Stolen Air. These are the other four books in the Kingmaker series. The Air, The Revel, The Spy, and The Savage. Then we have some of my hardcover. So we have Stardust Thief, Killers of a Certain Age, The Golden Couple, Ghosts, and The Flat Share. Use Twisted Games to put us into our yellow. So we have Twisted Games. The Unraveling of Cassidy Holmes, Bunny, Part of Your World, The Kids Quotient, Dial A for Auntie, Swear on This Life, Love Her or Lose Her, Conversations with Friends, An Unexpected Paradise, and One True Love. So now we are back up over here. So we have the yellow books and then the orange books right here. So we have Riley Thorne and the Guy Next Door, The Godparent Trap, Alex Approximately, The One, The Things We Leave Unfinished, It Ends With Us, Layla, Verity, The New Cover, and Hardback with the bonus chapter, I'm pretty sure. The Bodyguard, The Soulmate Equation, and Carrie Soto is back. And then we go into to our orange books. So we have Riley Thorne in the Corp in the Closet, Where the Crawdads Sing Underneath the Sycamore Tree, After I Do, Say You Still Love Me, Broken Night, The Trouble with Hating You, How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days, Daisy Jones in the Six, the original cover of Love and Other Words, The Dead Romantics, By Any Other Name, Book Lovers, Maybe in Another Life, and Finding and Keeping 13. And now we are on our red shelf. We have a few little orange stragglers over there. So we have My Body, The Summer I Turned Pretty Bright Side, The Aussie and uh, the verifiers, Kayaki, and then we go into our red book. So we have Throttled, Things We Know by Heart, Love in the Time of Serial Killers, Regretting You, The Bride Test, Holiday Swap, Meet Me in the Margins, The Elite, Twisted Hate, King of Wrath, Magnolia Parks, Angry God. And then over here we have some of my thrillers, Good Girl, Bad Blood, The Final Gambit, Final Girls, The Chain, Cotton in a Cornfield, The Messy Lives of Book People, which is actually not a thriller. I just put it there, The Vanishing Stare, and then of course my Spider-Man pop. 
protecting all of these books. Then we have Jackal and Peach Blossom Spring. And then we have one of my favorite shelves, which is actually my pink shelf. I just love it so much. I don't know why. I just think pink covers are so cute. Dating Dr. Dill, Love on the Brain. Then we have Finley Donovan is Killing It, Lock Every Door, Not a Happy Family, The Right Swipe, Perfect Addiction, Tools of Engagement, Forever Interrupted, and Good Girl Complex, The Infinity Between Us, The No Show, Unlikely Match, To Love Jason Thorne, The Spanish Love Deception, Darling Venom, The Score, by a thread, Icebreaker, which is one of my new faves. How to Kill Your Family, Blame It on the Mistletoe, Funny You Should Ask, Finding Perfect, Oh, The Summer Broken Rules, and then my paperback of Love on the Brain. Those are those two shelves are the only color coordinated shelf. The way that the other shelves are organized is just a little bit different and I will explain why. First of all, in this little corner right here, that is the box set of the Harry Potter books that I bought off Thrift Books, the next two books in the Mortal Instruments series. So up here, this is my Mariana Zapata shelf. We have The Wall of Winnipeg, Colty, Underlock, all roads lead here, wait for it, hands down from Luke Off with Love, Luna and the Lion, When Gracie Met the Grump. I haven't read Underlock, hands down, Luna and the Lion, and When Gracie Met the Grump yet, but I have that shelf completed for right now. Then of course we have the Addicted Callaway shelf. This is the Addicted Callaway Sister series, so I have the Addicted to You Berkeley edition. I'm pretty sure this has like bonus content in it. And we have Addicted to You, Ricochet, Addicted for Now, Thrive, Addicted After All, Kiss the Sky, Hot House Flower, Feel the Fire, Long Way Down, and then Some Kind of Perfect. This is kind of my Sarah J Mass shelf, kind of not. Of course we have Akatar. I put the Crescent City duology here for right now because I told you guys when I first showed my bookshelves that I wanna get the original hardback covers and put them all on this shelf because I love this series so much. But right now we have Akatar, Akamoth, Akawar, A Court of Frost and Starlight. I also have A Court of Silver Flames but I'm in the middle of reading it right now so it's not on this shelf. And then we have the Crescent City duology, House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath. That is what's going on with this shelf and then over here this whole entire book shelf is empty nothing on there this small shelf over here is my fantasy shelf since i don't have a lot of fantasy books i've been putting them all right here so we have once upon a broken heart the ballad of never after marvel the shadow bone season storm written and rising six of crows crooked kingdom dance of thieves and vow of thieves and then below it i have the full shatter me series with the novellas so shatter me unite me unravel me ignite me restore me find me defy me imagine me and believe me i still have these four left to read. The very last books that I have are just these random. So we have the two books in the Throne of Glass. So I have the Assassin's Blade and then Throne of Glass, which I'm actually going to be reading the Assassin's Blade before Throne of Glass because that's how I've seen most people say it. That's how I'm going to read it. And then we just have Hush Hush, Bone Crier's Moon, These Hollow Vows, and then the first book of the Immortal Instruments series. While those are all of the books that I have, I also wanted to show you guys how I have my little seat right here in the middle of it. And then I also have my little TBR cart that sits right here, which I think is so cute. And I ordered more prints from the Literary Loft that I wanted to share with you guys because she's amazing. We have this one that says, Welcome to North Bear Shores, on Lake Michigan, a place where happily ever after begin, and there will always be wildflowers, and there's January and Gus. It is so freaking cute. It's a little, like, Camp Callaway poster, and then I loved this one. This is why I bought more, because this poster, it says, I need you to wait for me, and it's, like, in a comic type of thing and this is kind of like how it is in addicted to you like the, kind of the ending of addicted to you that is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoy my new bookshelves i promise not to change them in a while hopefully i can keep it you know hope you guys enjoyed hopefully you guys kind of like see a little bit into my mind and how i organize books thank you guys again so much to flip for sponsoring today's video and you guys know what to do like comment subscribe all that youtube stuff that you guys know how to do and i will see you guys when i see ya Peace.